Today we had our Read and Seed event. It's our monthly event that we have mainly for the children but also for families. All about growing and enhancing the environment in our community, which as you know is what we're all about here. So we made seed bombs, which was very messy, you had to get your hands dirty with that, that we would just throw into any little patch that needs a burst of colour. It was a good turnout today. Uh, we obviously we've got the sunflower growing competition now, which is going to carry on through the summer where the children plant the sunflowers in their own garden at home. We found like a cup and then we got some soil and we planted some sunflower seeds in it. We also did bird feeders, which was with peanut butter or lard and bird seed, so they can hang those up, which would be lovely for the birds. We did egg cress heads, so we put cress in the top of eggshells and they'll grow little green hairs at the top in about 11 days. I love, I love the cress heads. One, one, four! I, th I think we, we raised uh, a few pounds on our raffle. Beautiful bag! The cakes and coffee was very, very successful. Also today, we launched our seed library, which is, to my knowledge, is the first in Cardiff. You can take the seeds away. If you don't have seeds to bring back, that's not a problem. Lots of people have more seeds than they can use, and they collect seeds from the garden and, uh, and donate them back into the library. Richard's talk was very well attended. When I was growing up, my two favourite places were probably the garden and the library, looking at books on uh, how to light a fire, how to tie knots. We're trying to impart that to the children, how much fun they can have. To see the, the youngsters engage with Richard and understanding a bit more on what goes on in the garden. It's quite easy when you've got smelly plants for the children to smell, herbs and so on. What does that smell like? It smells like multi cheese. He was really busy, had a great crowd of children, but also a lot of adults were standing behind. So he probably had about 40 or 50 in his crowd when he was doing that. I think the, the staff in the library are fantastic. They've been a huge help to us. Uh, you couldn't run a library without professional staff. I think I heard somebody say that they would not go to a dental specialist who was a volunteer. And our librarians are professionals. I think just have volunteers here booking books in and out would completely lose the focus of of what the library was intended for. Thank you so much. It's been great to see everybody. Yeah, please keep using the library. Please show how important it is to the community. And we keep pressure on the council to keep funding the library. We had a lot of people through the door today. A lot of new people as well as the regulars. And it was a really nice environment. As always, we had a lovely time. And it really is a friends group. So thank you very much. Richard even spoke about um, mini bugs and mini creatures and you should have a pile of logs. I'm going to go home and start a pile of logs. <laughs> <laughs>